Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a very special edition in the Funny Trades and Scam Attempt series. And this is going to be the best of the Funny Trades and Scam Attempt series. So, um... In my Discord, I put an announcement up saying that I was looking to make a sort of compilation of all the funniest, all the best moments from each of the episodes that are in the series. And I kind of didn't want it to be from my perspective because it would be biased if I was picking trades that I thought I was funny in and not trades that everyone else thought were funny. So a couple people actually put together their own compilations and this one's actually going to be made by Teal Opal. So once again, a link to his uh, channel will be linked down in the description below. Uh, he has featured on my channel fairly frequently actually in the past sort of month or two. But nonetheless, he actually put together this really great compilation. Another person in my Discord also made one that's really good as well and I was completely torn between uh, to upload Teal's or the other person's being Dad's so um, if you guys would like to see Dad's one do let me know down in the comments below a lot of the trades featured are similar but of course there are different ones and it's edited completely differently so if you'd like to see another compilation then let me know down in the comments below guys once again I don't normally ask for like goals but you guys killed it on the rags to riches one with over 1000 likes so let's see if we can hit 750 likes for the big Biggest funniest trades episode that we have at the moment. This is the funniest trades in the series, all the best moments, and put together by Teal Opal. So, once again, a link to Teal Opal will be down in the description. A massive thank you to him for editing this. Without further ado, guys, let's get straight into it. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe, and welcome to a kind of different video today. This is something that I've kind of wanted to make for a while, and I've finally compiled enough sort of pictures and evidence, mainly from my own trades, to make this, so... So after telling this kind gentleman that I was selling these for under backpack.tf press, meaning he can make profit, he said, no thanks, I can buy all if you discount. I mean, I already offered to discount. I never mentioned backpack.tf press in classifieds. A person who is oblivious don't deserve to be my friend. People like you have profile, but zero minds. In return, all he wanted was about one key and items from my backpack. However, it's the caption that really stands out to me. If you want to kill me, delete the trade. If you love your fan, you accept it. And I mean, you know what, Cutty Fluffy, I have nothing against you, dude. I don't want to kill you, okay? I must have slipped by accident and hit decline because I love my fan. I love, love my fan. So, uh, yeah, apologies for declining that. It was obviously meant to be accepted. So he's actually offering nothing for Sleevelet's Burning a Chill Chulo, which is about 600 keys, I believe. And he just said, I'll pay you in a few hours. He didn't say what he'll pay him. He didn't say whether that's keys, dollars, pure, you know. He didn't say anything, but he's just going to pay him in a few hours. So I'm sure Woolen accepted this trade and definitely got paid in a few hours by this reputable, trusted trader. So, of course, I hit him with my generic greeting that I give everyone our tradable victories. Hey, how can I help? And he put... Can you give me any headgear? I want to fix my mistaklers. I said, what? Because I didn't really understand what he said. This is an unusual trade server where people come to trade unusuals. He then replied with, can you give me a headgear? I want to fix my problem. So essentially just re reworded what he initially said. So at this point, I gathered that he obviously didn't want to trade unusuals and was just asking me for free items. So I replied with, what problem do you want to fix? And he said, I crafted a headgear and it sucks. It's the super fan. So I want a headgear to craft another one. So essentially, he just wanted me to give him a free hat and, uh, you know, let him craft another headgear and hopefully he won't make another problem or a mistake. So hopefully that won't happen again, but unfortunately I didn't end up giving him a headgear. As you can see in this offer, he has been offered seven crates for his unusual. Now as you can see in the caption, these aren't just any crates. These are unusuals too. Hey buddy, I liked your unusual, it's so cool. And I wanted to offer you these crates. They are unusuals too, I am overpaying. And I mean, you know, when you think about it logically, he is overpaying. Each one of those crates could have a burning team captain in, so it's only logical that I'm sure the person in question accepted this trade offer and got an extra seven unusuals as opposed to their one. That makes sense to me. So in this trade offer, we see Captain Pootis asking for a range of unusual hats, collectors, items, strangers, 
Bridges and kill streak kits along with keys, passes, you name it, it's probably in this trade. And th there's just no caption, like, th there's not even an attempt to convince this person to accept the trade. That's the best thing. Like, there's literally just no attempt to justify this. So, uh, I'm unsure if the trade was ever accepted. However, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to guess that Miranda's actually declined the trade and Captain Putis didn't end up with some items, but I mean, who knows? Only Miranda's and Captain Putis know the real answer to this. And it's a trade off of four various items, including a Hong Kong cone, a sharp dresser, a bruiser's bandana, a pair of grey bands, a puffy provocateur, and a very nice elite grade rocket launcher skin. However, the caption on this trade is as follows, and as you can see, there are no items on his side of the trade. I need to be a spy main. I pay you back and you're you have my word. And that's it. So not only does this person want to be a spy main and that's their justification for getting these three items, but there's only actually two of the six items in the trade that are exclusively used by the spy. So this very kind gentleman, being a Dav Nile 0306, offers him nothing on his side of the trade for Wux's unusual condor cap, three refined metal, one reclaimed, and one scrap. Hello, I don't play Team Fortress anymore, and I give you this unusual and some refuff. <laughs> Okay, well, 100 sandwiches is nice. I mean, that's like a dinner for a week and- Oh! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Yes, Joe, and apparently it looks like we got someone that is- His sandwiches are so powerful, it actually has the power to break the borders of steam. Only one sandwich, some piss. Uh, but at least there's meat. Travi loves his meat. Hey Joe, you want to come over for dinner? You can have one of these. Chocolate. Chocolate. So much chocolate. Mm. Yeah. Stuff and chocolate is fun. I I I beg to differ, but. Heard you like food by Dink. Well, yes, yes, that, that'll that save me for a week, you know. I don't know why you would accept this trade offer, but I'd try it. And I mean, you know what? He's not lying. He's not going to beat around the bush and try to convince Ice Plox to accept this trade. He's just straight off said, I don't really know why you'd accept this. But you know, he's he's putting the effort XXX underscore MLG Doritos underscore XXX. Hey, that's me. Yes, I get scammer my items. But if you only can do give me this, please, you be my hero if you can give me sad face. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? As you can see, there's nothing else in the trade, just some unusual hats. So this is where it started to get a bit peculiar. So as you can tell, there's no other items in the trade, just some unusual hats. I received a comment on the trade saying, I need cloak and dagger. Now I'm assuming he means the cloak and dagger, but regardless, like I don't understand how that's at all relevant to any of the unusuals I was selling. I, I assume he must have been fairly new to trading, but either way, like, was he just asking me for a free cloak and dagger? I'm not too sure. Hello, why did you add me? A. Wanted to buy some of your items for cash. Sorry, I don't do that. I don't trade for cash. You know, that's a, that's a logical response to cash trades. Report. Bye. Wow, what an asshole. So here we have someone offering on three unusuals. The caption, I won you give plus. Now, I mean, that's so insightful and it really gives some depth as to why they want the items. So I'm not too sure if they ended up making the trade, but with a story like that and such depth, it wouldn't surprise me if they did end up making the trade, and they did end up giving the unusuals over. So this next one is actually a bit of a lengthy one, and it is of a TF2 outpost trade of someone selling an Allfather. It's painted white and he's looking for 16 refined and 1 reclaimed. As you can see, he's got all the variants of metal on the right hand side of the trade, suggesting that he only wants metal. Someone then comments on the trade saying, Hello, you Ivites trade, I buy you Allfather. Not too sure what he meant with that one, but what I'm guessing is that he sent him a trade offer or he invited him to a trade to buy the Allfather. And the same guy took the outpost trade literally and gave one ref, one reclaimed, and one scrap. 
This is a screenshot from TF2 Outpost. The person in question was selling a Neutron Star Tyrannus for the Pyro, you know, the slug. Apparently, this is a themed unusual because it's a themed slug from outer space. You can just say that about any hat, like, surely if you have like a, for example, like a, I don't know, a pyro's beanie, you can say it's themed because it's a pyro out of space, or like a beanie out of space, like, that's probably one of the worst forced themes I think I've ever heard in my life. This next one actually coming over from backpack.tf, and we have a classified listing here for the mirror for the medic. The caption on this, it's 11 keys, which is a very respectable price, but the caption, there's something wrong. Good looking pyro hat. Like, I mean, there is a small issue in that the hat can't be worn by the pyro at all and it can only be worn by the medic. So, I mean, he is kind of lying about what class wears the hat, but I, I mean, I'm sure it's an easy mistake to make, right? Medic, pyro, basically the same class. So, as you can see on backpack.tf classifieds, this person is selling an electrostatic hat with no name. The, the description of the hat, very nice, all class hat. Below this, we can see a picture of the hat with no name, only being equipable by the soldier, demo man, engineer, and sniper, which means it isn't an all-class hat and it's being falsely advertised. But the same person then comes back with an antifreeze hotties hoodie and says, very nice first-gen hat. As we scroll down, we can see that the first-gen hat is indeed false, as the effect was added in the robotic boogaloo update. So, I just thought those were two pretty funny ones. The guy's clearly, like, misleading the potential buyers into what the hat is. And I just thought you guys may find that pretty funny. As you can see, this is a trade offer from someone claiming to be Muse Elk for someone's Cloud9 noble amassment of hats. The caption just reads, Donation, please? Now, if I was Muse Elk, the YouTuber with over a million subscribers, who doesn't really make TF2 anymore, but we, we can ignore that part, right? Let's just focus on the fact he has a million subscribers. I just don't think that he'd be going around asking random people for their unusuals, like, honestly. That's so funny, like, the, the lengths people go to to try and scam on this game is absolutely ridiculous. So this is a pretty funny conversation he, uh, this person had with a scammer. Hi. I was wondering if I can offer PayPal for your unusual. What unusual? I have three, question mark. So, you know, he's clearly not just trading one unusual, but Frost wants to buy it for PayPal regardless. He comes back and just says, yes. <laughs> so guys, here we can see someone selling a circling TF logo brain bucket for the price of 17 keys. However, we go over to the bio and it says selling for 18 keys pure, send me a trade or add me, fast accept. And you kind of start to get mixed signals here because his bio says he's looking for 18 keys. However, the backpack.tf classified listing itself says 17 keys. So definitely a few mixed signals there from the person with no name. I mean, I know that keys to house worth much more, but it costs $400,000 to shoot this weapon for 12 seconds. Plus full ammo equals you become a profit. This is a very basic trade offer with no items on his side and a bunch of food and drink related items on my side. The caption of the trade was simply, I'm hungry. The orb costs $4,750 to buy, so it is a good deal for your hat. I'm locked out of my house. Can I try all of these to see if they work? And it says, hi Joe, I was feeling a bit thirsty and I'd appreciate it if you would let me have some of your jars of what looks like lemonade. This one is someone that says, I'm stuck in school for five more hours. Please help me get out. I think that this key works. Help me, please. I'm trying to help by removing some of the weight of your backpack. Theoretically, you'll be able to move faster in game. But it's a screenshot of someone sending an offer for four of my P250 sand dunes. The caption of the trade says, send dunes with a Lenny face.